Many people today believe that gender is something very concrete and natural but it is not simply determined by nature, rather, it is created by human culture and society. Gender exists on a spectrum that is complex and personal. The categories of male and female are social constructs, stories we have created to make sense of biological differences. But gender itself depends profoundly on nurturing, not nature alone. The traits and behaviors we associate with masculinity or femininity are learned, not inborn. They depend on the culture and environment we are raised in, and the influences that shape us. Our understanding of gender continues to evolve as society and values change. For example, roles considered appropriate for women today would have been unthinkable just a few generations ago in many places. This flexibility demonstrates that gender is constructed, not fixed. If gender was determined entirely by biology, it should not vary so widely across cultures and histories. But some societies recognize more than two genders. And others have long accepted identities like third genders. The diversity of gender concepts around the world proves that they rely on local cultural beliefs, not on universal truth. Gender varies because the stories we tell about it vary. Biological sex is different. While a person's sex refers to physical traits, gender refers to social identities and behaviors. Sex may be biologically based, but gender is created through human choices, language, and culture. It is produced by nurturing, not nature alone. Although biology gives us certain tendencies, culture shapes how we actually understand and express masculinity or femininity in profound ways. Gender is complex and personal. For many people, gender identity does not fit neatly into the categories of man and woman. Gender exists on a spectrum that is complex, fluid, and deeply personal. The idea of two opposite genders, male and female, oversimplifies this reality. Many individuals do not identify strictly as either one, their sense of self depends on a more nuanced understanding of gender as a diverse human experience. In summary, the concept of gender depends on the stories people construct and share with one another in society. While sex refers to biological traits, gender refers to how we make sense of who we are, and that depends on cultural beliefs and norms, not nature alone. Gender exists on a spectrum, encompassing many possibilities beyond the binary. And because the stories we tell about gender continually change, how we understand it must continually evolve as well. Ultimately, gender is a social creation. It is nurture, not nature. That truly shapes human identity and relationships.